Hi, you guys. I hope everybody is good today. Um, I'm going to open up with a song today. I know that's so random and weird, but it was it's on my heart to do. Everybody knows it, so sing it with me. Um, there's something about that name. And um, I'm not a singer, but it's just on my heart to sing this song because there's something about the name of Jesus. And um, I just feel like we need to sing this song today. So, um, sing it with me. Jesus, 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 there's just something about that name. Master, Savior, Jesus, let all heaven and earth proclaim kings and kingdoms, they'll all pass away, but there's something about that name hallelujah and i'm gonna stop there but i just wanted to sing that song this morning or this afternoon or this evening wherever you are it's afternoon for me and um there's nothing like the name of jesus there's nothing like the name of jesus there's something about that name Thank you, Jesus. And um, I just felt led to sing that today. I don't know why. I don't know. Um, I have been a crybaby lately, you guys. Just saying. That's why my eyes are all puffy. Seems like every time I'm um, in the presence of the Lord, I'm just boohooing. So... Excuse me for my tears, but they're good tears. They're the Holy Spirit te tears. They're not. Anyway, um, thank you, Jesus. I have a very powerful word to share with you guys today. Um, I actually got this word um, in parts. So the beginning of the word I got on the 19th. Um, today is the 25th, I think. I think it's 25th, 24th, 25th. Um, and I got it at 1, 2, 3, 4, actually, 12, 34 p.m. And um, I was just spending some time with the Lord, as I usually do when I receive a word. And um, my sister and I had just been talking about this the day before. And so as I was receiving this word, um, I kind of felt like I was thinking it myself because when you hear from the Lord, it's not audible. It's in, it's in here. And so when I heard this word, which I can feel the presence of the Lord all over me right now. Um, when I heard this word, I, I, I stopped because I was like, nope, Lord. And I, I closed my journal, I put my pen down and I said, nope. This is, these are my own thoughts. Um, because I had just been talking to my sister about it. And um, because it's something that is so going on right now. And then I had a really horrible rest of the day. Just saying, I did. It just wasn't, I, I, I said, Lord, I can't, I can't, I can't. Because I thought that I was speaking my own words. And um, I will never do that. Like, and the Lord knows if I feel like I'm thinking and I'm in my own head, then I will immediately shut it down and I will walk away because I never, ever, ever want to put, you know, my words on paper saying that it's God's words ever. 
So I have to know that it's from the, from the Lord. Anyway, so I just wanted to go over that with you. Um, and then, um, so the, so the, the beginning, and I'll tell you when I get to the second part, which was a couple days later and the spirit of the Lord was so heavy and strong on me. I was trembling. I mean, I was literally trembling. And so when I came back to this, um, which was on the 22nd and he finished, um, or the 21st actually. So actually it was a three day, it was three days, three parts is this word is three parts. Um, and it's taken a few days for me to get it all down. Um, I could probably consider the second part of this just a, a, um, a new word, but no, it all supposed to go together. So, um, I know I'm already five minutes in, but I just wanted to explain that to you guys, um, that, you know, it's broken up into three days, three different days is how long it took me to receive this word because I was, I was in, it's such a powerful word. And I, like I said, I didn't want it to be, I didn't want to think that it was my own thoughts. And then when I put my pen down, then I, I addressed the Lord about it. I went to the Lord in prayer about it. And I, I, um, and we chit chatted about it, um, because we do, we chit chat. And so, um, I don't know what happened to my phone, the, the, um, sunlight or whatever. Anyway, so, um, I'm going to get to this word. And, um, oh, and let me pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you so much for these words, God. I thank you, Father, um, just for all you're doing in the land today and each and every one of your children's hearts, Father, and in their families and in their homes. And I just ask, Father, that you just pour out your glory Pour out your glory on each one, Father. Each one of your people, just pour out your glory, God. In the name of Jesus, I ask. I ask that you pour out your glory on your people, Father. In the name of Jesus Christ. I love you. I honor you and I glorify your holy name in Jesus' name. Okay. So, I got this on 119, 1, 2, 3, 4 p.m. My children, I need you to hear and listen to what the Spirit of the Lord is saying this day. Yes, I want you to hear what is on my heart for this very day. Confusion and disorder is everywhere in the land. I see it everywhere, and this includes my body. Can you not see what the enemy is doing? For it is plain to see. He is dividing you, causing strife amongst you. Do you not? Sorry, amongst you. Do you know your adversary is sitting back laughing and mocking my body as you allow him to tear you apart? I'm telling you this must stop. And it must stop now, says the Lord. Pull yourselves together and fight against him. You are my body, my church, and are commanded to love one another. This is the greatest command I have given you. So many of you are mocking and talking to one another against your brothers and sisters. I am watching all this take place, and I am disappointed. I am so disappointed, children. My word says, I am love. That's who I am. I am love. That's in bold. You have been given commands with the greatest one next to loving me is to love each other as you love yourself. It also says this is the greatest gift of the spirit. Why? For love never passes away. You are not representing me as you are fighting amongst, as you are fighting about who's right and who's wrong. There is none of that when you are living in love. For love is kind. It is not jealous nor boastful. It is gentle and patient and endures many things. It is long suffering and sees the very best in others. It does not judge. Remember who is the judge. I am the judge over all the earth. My word says, judge not lest you be judged, says the Lord. So watch yourselves as you carry on this nonsense. 
This is a time to come together as one body, my body, and join hands to fight this raging battle that is before you. Stop quarreling amongst yourselves and tuck your and take your stand against the adversary. Lock arms and fight him, not each other. That's where I stopped. I picked up again on the 21st. Um, I am using many in my body right now in many different ways i choose who and how i decide to use them do not box me up children as this is what and why you are stumbling on the trail you think i am supposed to be one way and say things you only want to hear or or think you should hear many of you hear what you want to hear and judge those who speak against what you have been taught and lied to about for so long. This is the enemy who is has snuck in to the four walls of the church, and this is about to stop, says the Lord. So I have to turn on some air. I am coming to tear all that. I am coming to tear down all of that. I am coming to show who I am. I have already begun. These leaders that have caused you to stumble to stumble and that have caused all this strife robbed and deceived my children will be turned over to the wolves as that is what they are enough is enough i will not tolerate this any longer says the lord so i say again as i've said before repent and turn from your wicked ways O oh, you leaders you wolves who are feeding and preying on my children, chewing them up and spitting them out as if they are rotten, as if they are a rotten piece of meat. Turn now before it's too late as I am coming to turn your tables in a way never seen before, says the Lord. As for you, my children who are lacking in discretion of your words, I command you to stop now as this will have a harvest you do not want for it is written what is sown therefore also you shall reap says the lord of hosts it's time to awaken and rise up my children rise up against all your adversary is trying to do to you he is the author of confusion and is out to get each one of you to get you to fall into his trap of lies there will be consequences up ahead for those that continue to slander my chosen people speaking for me in this hour yes my anointed whom i have called to speak my words says the lord there will also be consequences for those who have not been anointed to speak my words whom whom who whom are claiming they are of me woe to you i say woe to those who are not called by my name claiming to be a prophet of almighty god repent says the lord and turn away from this now i say it again repent says the lord and that's in bold this is um my husband came home right there so i had to stop i pick up again on the 22nd at 3 30 p.m and i had been spending time with the lord and um and um, I was trembling in his presence, and um, and I and I he told me to pick up my pen, and so I picked up my pen, and so it starts here. My children, you are entering a time when you will need each other more than ever. So come together now, put away your selfish ways and differences, and battle together against your enemy and not against each other. Pray for one another and lift each other up. No more tearing down with your words, says the Lord. This happened to Stephen in the book of Acts. Learn from this story, children. It is the same thing. This is designed by your enemy, Satan, who is getting you to fight against each other. Stop it now. Stop it now. Things are about to get interesting and very uncomfortable for many. If you stay in me, you shall find my peace. If you are caught bickering and, sl and slaying my anointed and appointed, watch out. Yes, I am a righteous judge as well as a loving father. So this is your warning. 
this is your warning, says the Lord of hosts. Come to me and ask for help if you need help in this area. I am here to deliver you out of it all. But you must come and ask, and there I will be, says the Lord. Knock, 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 and my door will open to you with the abundance of my grace and mercy. Come to me, children, and find your rest. Don't fear what is upon you, as the tide has turned and the waters are rising. This is a good thing if you are ready. Prepare yourselves. Get your hearts ready. Right. Get your hearts ready right before me says the lord of hosts new zealand hold on to your britches hold on tight there is a great shaking coming do not fear this shaking come and find your peace in me i am your shelter from it all no 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 china you will not have your way no 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 iran you will not have your way no 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 you the who you the wf you the w the NWO, you shall not have your way. My hand is moving and moving against each one of you, says the Lord of hosts. Get ready for a, your complete destruction. I am coming for you, says the great I am. Prepare for this, my children, as it will get bumpy. It is a time to end their plans once and for all, says the Lord. As this time approaches, my children, get yourselves, your families, your homes, your hearts, your minds prepared and close to me. Now is the time to prepare for this. Don't wait. Prepare now, says the Lord. Do not, this is all in bold, do not fear a word spoken, for I am your God and I will protect you. You must prepare your hearts for the, for these coming events and changes getting ready to take place. No, I am with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you, for I love my children. It does not mean that you won't be affected by these changes. But if you are close to me and in my presence, you will be filled up with my peace. Yes, my peace that love that my peace. That covers all fears. Get with me now and lean. Get with me now and learn. Where to find my peace. Says the Lord. I was writing so fast, you guys. It was it was just coming out. So sorry if I'm having a hard time reading it. Um, get with me now and learn how to find my peace, says the Lord. There's no time to waste. I say it again. There's no time to waste. Changes are coming quickly as I destroy your enemies before they destroy you. I'm coming to tear all their plans into pieces. So rejoice, 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 and hold on tight to me as I come to set you completely free. Get ready, my children, as your victory is on the horizon. And nothing, and I mean nothing or no one, can or will stop from what I, the great I am, is about to do for you, says the Lord your God, maker of heaven and earth. And that was in quotes, of heaven and earth is in quotes and in bold and the name of my son Yeshua the king of kings and the lord of lords the one who was who is and is to come amen amen and amen the lord has spoken and that's what i got and so um and then right after I heard him tell me, read Revelations chapters three through six. And so, um, so I did. And um, I'm gonna read uh, just a couple scriptures. Um, Revelation 3, 1 through 3. 
jumped out at me. This message is sent to you by the one who has the sevenfold spirit of God, the seven stars. I know your reputation as I live an active church, but you are dead. Now wake up, strengthen what little remains for even what is left is at the point of death. Your deeds are far from right in the sight of God. Go back to what you heard and believed at first. Hold to it firmly and turn to me again unless you do. Unless you do, I will come suddenly upon you, unexpected as a thief, and punish you. And so, um, he's basically saying, those of us that are not, he's saying, go back to your first love. Go back to the beginning. Go back to where you were saved and where you fell in love with Jesus. Where you fell, what, what you know, what you know. Go back to what you learned in the beginning. For those of us that are acting a fool basically um and three um in verse 20 this is out of the new living translation look i have been standing at the door and i'm constantly knocking if anyone hears me calling him and opens the door i will come in and fellowship with him and he with me i will let everyone who conquers sit beside me on the on my throne just as I took my place with my father on his throne when I had conquered let those who can hear listen to what the spirit is saying to the churches that was 20 and 21 um but he said this in the in the scripture he said knock and the door shall be open to you and he, and, um, or he said this in the prophetic word and then revelation 4 and 8 um Um, sorry guys each of these living beings had six wings and the central sections of their wings were covered with eyes day after day night after night they kept on they kept on saying holy 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 is the Lord God Almighty the one who was and is and is to come and um, I just felt like I should read that because he is it's he is the the, the one who was who is and is to come and he ended it like that and he never does with me but if you follow me you know that it's it's he he doesn't and so that just jumped out at me and so I thought I would share that with you guys um Jeremiah 8 and 8 um as I was reading today this morning um that jumped out at me and so um I'm gonna read that right fast as well Jeremiah 8 and 8 how can you say we understand his laws when your teachers have twisted them up to mean a thing I never said these wise teachers of yours will be shamed by exile for this sin, for they have rejected the word of the Lord. Are they then so wise? No, they're not. So that's for the leaders that are leading his, those are for the, that's for the shepherds that are leading his people astray right now. And um, Nahum 1, 7 and 8 as well. I'm going to read that right fast. And, um, and then that's all I have for scriptures for today. Um, sorry guys. I should at least have these marked, but I know where it is. <laughs> I really do. Oh boy. There it is. It's just a small little book. <laughs> Um, one, seven and eight, the Lord is good. When trouble, when trouble comes, he is the place to go and he knows everyone who trusts in him, but he sweeps away his enemies with an overwhelming flood. He pursues them day and night. So, um, 
I want to share something with you guys because, you know, in this prophetic word, he says, come to me and I will show you. He, he's saying, I need to feel, feel, I'm going to need to fill you with my peace in these coming days, weeks, and months ahead. Okay. And, um, and I need to share this with you guys because I have had a couple rough days. Um, you know, just, I've just had a couple rough days and, um, on Sunday, it wasn't really a rough day. I just, I, I felt I, on Sunday, I was just, I don't know. I, I fell to my knees. I was praying in the spirit for a little bit and I just wept. I was just, I just wept, um, you know, on the floor for a while. And I just, and I know that it was the heart of God that I was feeling. I was just feeling the heart of God. Um, and I believe that was this past Sunday before I got the last part of this word. Um, but then yesterday, I don't know, I, 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 I don't know what was going on with me yesterday, but yesterday I just, and the day before I was just having a hard time getting in his, getting, getting back in my quiet place, excuse me, get, getting back in my quiet place and spending that time with him and with the Lord. And, um, last night for whatever reason, I just, I was in, I was in a, you know, I, I, I'd been spending time with the Lord, but just not in, not in the way that I spend time with the Lord, you know, where I get f that, where I, f I'm in his presence and I'm in the word and I'm spending that, that quiet time with him, like in that secret place, you know, where I get these words, where I am in his presence. And, um, and if I'm not in his presence, I'm not happy. I mean, I'm just not, you know? And so last night, um, I went back in my room for a little bit and those of you that don't know, you know, I live in a bus or whatever, but, um, so I went back when I say back in my room, but anyway, I went back there and I just started crying. I just started bawling my eyes out and this happened two days in a row where I was just like, I just need you, Lord. I need to feel your presence. And immediately he was there and he said, I'm right here immediately like it was just I walked back there and I just cried and I said daddy 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 and I cried I looked up and I just raised my hands and I said daddy 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 I need to feel your presence right now I just need you I need you and your presence right now and right now I can feel his presence that's why I'm crying but anyway <laughs> because he is he's always there Regardless if we feel him close by or not, he is always there. And so I immediately felt the his glory was all over me. I was trembling. It was so powerful. He wanted me to know that I could feel his glory and I could feel like my hands are just, I could feel his glory all over my hands right now. I can just feel him um, so strongly, but he's right there. And so if and when you, you know, he's saying, you're going to need to, you're going to need my presence. And then immediately I felt this peace come over me that was just overwhelming. It was just an overwhelming peace. I had the peace of God all over me. And I, I went in there a mess, literally went in there like just a mess. I had, I was like, I had anxiety. I was just because I, because I just felt like I needed to spend that time with him. I, I, cause I hadn't all day for the most part. I didn't spend, I mean, I was, I, you know, I had spent time, um, listening to music and, and I was watching the gathering, um, Timothy Dixon's the gathering while I was, um, making dinner. And that was another thing the night before I was making dinner, listen, watching the gathering. Um, and, um, they were out laying their hands on, on, uh, you know, it was when Amanda Grace, it was Sunday night, Amanda Grace was there, uh, ministering and she was out there. They were out there, her and Julie Green and all of them were there. And, um, they were out, you know, Manuel Johnson as well, but they're out there laying their hands and, and, and healing and, and just healing and deliverance was taking place. And I cut my finger. I sliced my finger while I was making dinner as this was going on. And I was singing, they were singing, um, they were singing, um, I forget what they were singing, but it, it was an old hymnal. Um, and, and it was about the blood of Jesus. And, um, so I'm singing and I'm actually kind of like those, I was kind of bouncing around as I'm, 
cutting my avocado and and I sliced my finger and it just of course started bleeding you know it wasn't like a bad bad cut or anything like that but it was it was you know when you slice your finger with a knife it it, it bleeds and I immediately I took a napkin I you know put pressure and then there you know here I am in my kitchen in California they're in Florida doing healings and I and and I'm and I'm singing and I'm 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 enjoying you know watching their their healing service and I said no I was like in the name of Jesus I command you to dry up right now you stop bleeding I command you in the name of Jesus Christ you dry up blood you you heal up you I command you to dry up now boom just like that it stopped it stopped bleeding I was like, hallelujah, I just, I mean, I was so, I mean, I, I knew that the power is there and the authority is there and I have the authority and I have the power, you know, to do it and to, you know, but to, to use it and to do it and to see it was amazing. And I could feel the glory all over my hands right now. So I don't know. I don't know if I'm just supposed to release the glory or something right now, but I just, you know, I release the glory right now to to anybody and everybody who's watching. I don't know if you will feel anything, but I can feel the power and anointing all over my hands right now. I can feel it. I don't know if you need healing in your body, but if you need healing in your body, I just, I command your body healed right now in the name of Jesus. I don't know. I, I can feel right now the power and anointing all over my hands right now. So if you need healing in your body right now, anyone in your body, you touch your body wherever it needs healing. And I release the glory and I command your body right now in the name of Jesus to be made whole right now, wherever there's pain, put your hands on that pain right now. And I command it right now in the name of Jesus, pain go away right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the pain to be gone in the name of Jesus Christ right now. I release the glory right now in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. I praise you, Jesus. Right now, I praise you, Jesus, that somebody's getting healed right now. I don't know who it is. I don't know where. I don't know who and I don't know what body part. I don't know any of that, but I know somebody's being healed. Right now, I know somebody's being healed. And if you are being healed right now, I, I ask that you just put it in the, in, in the comments. I want to hear about it in Jesus name, but I can feel the anointing all over my hands right now. I can feel it. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I can feel it coming off my hands, you guys, right now. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody's being healed right now. I don't know. I don't know, but I want to hear about it in Jesus name. Praise you, Father. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hallelujah. It's never happened to me before, you guys. Thank you, Jesus. Just let your healing power flow through there, through the phone, Lord. Let it flow through, Lord. I can feel it so strong. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, glory, glory, glory. Hallelujah. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord, hallelujah. Wow, that's never happened, you guys. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. Praise you, Jesus. I could just feel in my hands, all, all over my body, you guys, <laughs> hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Anyways, yes, so back to my finger. It dried up. I even told my husband he thought I was crazy. Because, you know, he doesn't, you know, but, uh, yeah, my, the blood stopped immediately. I even put pressure to try and get it to, it, it just, it was, it was done. So praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. 
So, like I said, I received my healing, just a little cut on my finger, but God was showing me, hey, that little cut, I can stop that bleeding in a second. And um, that we have the power, we have the authority. If we believe it and we receive it, it's ours. It's ours. In Jesus' name, the power is there. Do not ever take it for granted. Receive your healing today. Receive it, receive it, receive it. Believe it's for you and receive it in Jesus' mighty name. Okay, I think I'm done here. Um, I don't know. I don't know what else the Lord wants me to do, but um, I just praise you, Father, and I thank you for your children. I thank you for the healings taking place right now, Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ. I can't wait to hear the healings taking place, Father, in Jesus' name. Please leave it in the comment section if you, if, if you had some pain and it is gone. I want to hear about it. And um, I just... I don't even, I just don't even know. I just praise you, Father. I thank you, Jesus. Um, this is new to me, you guys. This is a whole new thing. I've never been on here and felt the power and the anointing in my hands. I feel this at home all the time, but not when I'm doing a video. <laughs> this is the first time. And so, um, praise you, Father. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father. Thank you for your healing power, Father, that's going through the phone right now, through the airwaves, Father. Thank you, Lord, for healing your people, Father. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus, for healing your people. In the name of Jesus, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Okay, I bless you guys. I love you guys. And um, all glory to God. I don't know when I'll be back, but um, prayerfully soon. <laughs> I love you guys and um, have a super blessed day. And um, Jesus loves you. I love you. You're never alone. You're never alone. You're never alone. Um, I don't even know what else the word said, but just buckle up, you guys, because something, I know something's getting ready to take place. I don't know what, but I've been feeling it so strong so so strong I woke up yesterday morning and I could just feel I woke up just pleading the blood I mean I do every day but I was just like Lord I don't know something's coming something is coming this was yesterday and then this morning again it's just like I just I know something is God is about to do something I don't know what I don't know what but something is I can feel it and I know you guys can too. That's the thing. I'm not the only one. We all can feel it. So prepare your hearts. Get right with Jesus. If you are not right with Jesus, get right with him. Repent if you are if you are um fit in that category that is um that is uh whatever he said. Go back and listen to the word again. Just get yourselves right before the Lord. Um and uh, just know that our, our, our victory is, is oh so close. And we, we have the victory. And whatever takes place, whatever God's about to do, it's for, it's for uh, we'll, we'll be filled with this, with his peace and his joy and, and the glory of the Lord. His glory is coming to fill this earth. And we, the children of Almighty God, will see our freedoms and our victory. And we have the victory. The victory has already been won. And so just, just, um, know that and, um, don't fear anything. God is saying, don't fear a thing. Don't fear anything. Just make sure that you are in his presence. Get with him today. Get with him today. Ask him to fill you with his presence. Like I have been doing the last couple of days when I felt like I was so far away or he was so far away the last couple of days. And he said, I'm here. And all I did was cry out and say, Daddy, I need to feel your presence. And he was there immediately. Immediately he was there. He was there. And that's what he wants. All he wants is you to go to him and say, Lord, I need to feel you. I want to be filled with your presence. I want to be filled. I want to know you're right here with me. I want to be close to you. Help me. If you don't know how to get there, help me. Help me spend time with you, Lord. Help me spend time with you. Teach me how to spend time with you. 
whatever it is, just reach out to him, ask him, and he's there. Knock and the door will be open to you. Seek and you shall find. And, and Matthew 6.33. That's what I needed yesterday and the day before. Matthew 6.33. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That means peace, joy, peace of mind. I didn't have it yesterday. None. I was a mess yesterday. I was. Even my husband said, why are you in such a bad mood? I'm like, I'm not. He's all, do you want to get in a bad mood? <laughs> he was teasing me. I said, no, I'm going to go back there and spend some time with the Lord. And that's what I did. Went back there and spent time with the Lord. And he said, oh, good. Go spend some time with the Lord because you look like you're in a really bad mood. So, but anyway, seek you first the kingdom of God and, that, and his righteousness and all these things shall be added unto you. That's why we need to get with him early in the day. Put him first in all things and all these things shall be added unto you. And peace is so important to have throughout your day. Strength, grace to do whatever it is that you need to get done in the day. You know, just to even, even to get out of bed. I thank him for his grace. Thank you for giving me the grace to get out of bed and for brushing my teeth and for, you know, all the things. Man, I can feel anointing on me so, so, so strong right now, you guys. It's quite amazing. But um, it's been 41 minutes and um, it's probably going to take forever for me to upload this video, but I don't care. But I just, you know, for whatever reason, I'm having a hard time hitting the button. I pray because I can just feel the anointing um, and this never happened, so... Um, I don't know if God wants me to say anything else. That's the thing. I don't know if, if he's leading me. If the Holy Spirit wants me to say anything else. But, you know, seek him first, you guys. Because that's what I was missing yesterday. And and um, and it came to my mind last night before I went to bed. It was, I was just like, I did, I, I knew that's what it was. Is that I wasn't seeking him first. And I usually do. So anyway, I love you guys. Have a super blessed day. God loves you so much. Jesus loves you. He died for you. He took every stripe upon his back for you and your healing. So receive your healing today in the name of Jesus Christ. And, um, and just be blessed. And I love you guys in Jesus name. Have a good day.